What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be reviewing a brand new mod. So this is the Orcanus Orca made by Divine Beasts and this is going to be a very long review I can already tell because I had a little look at what it has and there is so much. Like there is so so much. So anyway, uh, don't let me keep you waiting. Oh, look at that little spin. Right, let's go have a look at subspecies. There is a lot of them. 35 to be precise. So let's just get straight into this. So we have Resident M. Uh, then we've got the female version. Biggs M. Then female version again. You'll notice they bo basically all of them have a female version. Offshore M. Yep. Tropical. North Atlantic. North Atlantic Type 2. Type A. Type B, Type B small and large, sorry, there is a small and large. Uh, type C, Type D, 87KAJ. I, now, I would pronounce that, but I have no idea how, so you get the letters. <laughs> and then Keiko, I think this is how it's said. Tilikum, very, very popular orca, look at that. Those huge fins, Tilikum, awesome. Katina, Chainsaw. Look at that dorsal fin. Oh, it looks so good. And then CA165 Lonesome George. Port, Starboard, Old Tom, Ulysses, I think. Ishmael, TCKW, CO539 Iceberg. So that's all the subspecies, and they look quite good. A lot of them are modeled off real orca species. Some of them are modeled off of famous orca species, like Tilikum, obviously. But yeah, let's have a look at all of this, uh, all of these abilities that it has. Sorry for my bad wording. I'm just really, really bloody excited. So, uh, also look at this. This is new. It's in the bottom right corner of the screen. It only appears when you open this menu. See, and it's basically little tips for the Orca mod because there's that much in it. So I'll read out the first couple of sentences. The orca can perform an acrobatic jump by double tapping jump on hitting the surface while sprint, sprint swimming. Gosh. <laughs> by sprint swimming for 20 seconds you enable momentum. For the next 120 seconds you will gain speed. So basically what that means is for the next 120 seconds your entire stand bar you just keep going quicker. And it's not like a huge amount it's just a little bit but still it's quite cool. So yeah, that's quite nice to have here. Anyway, let's go to the abilities. So we have passive, this is echolocation. Lower water vision and outline all characters on screen for 60 seconds. Only works while the orca is underwater. So let's equip this, shall we, before we have a look at the bite. Right, are you ready for this? There we go. Oh, look. Oh, there you go. So basically, this highlights everything. Fish, quest items, it, it basically just tells you everything you need. And obviously, this might hurt some of your eyes, so you can just quickly go up, back down, and it's gone, just like that. But it's quite useful for chasing stuff as well. So that's echolocation. Let's go to head slots. So we've got bite, causes medium damage, liver tear. Deals armor-piercing damage, also applies a stack of Condemning Wound to the target, reaches three stacks, gives the target Condemning Wound, which applies a weaken effect, a weakening effect, reducing the target speed and turn by 20% for 20 seconds. Orca also gains food from doing this action. So, it's quite a strong bite, but obviously you need to stack it to three times, but... Orcas should be in pods, so that shouldn't be no issue. Right, let's have a look at the regular bite. There you go. It's quite a nice, simple bite. And let's have a look at liver tear. Ooh, that is a very nasty animation. I love it. So I have used this on other players, and basically this will grab a chunk of meat out of them. It just looks like a normal piece of meat, and uh, the orca consumes it. <laughs> so it's quite nice. Next up we've got headbutt. A headbutt that deals medium damage, knockback, and cracks the armor of the victim by minus 8% for 5 seconds. So the so anyone you hit with this has 8% less armor for 5 seconds. There you go, a nice headbutt. That looks really nice, I love it. 
Next up, we've got sensors. Lone survivor, 10% armor increase and increased maneuverability. We're not in a group. That is a horrible word. Ambush, your first attack. We're not in combat. Deals 25% increased damage. Also, I love these icons, by the way. Even the stuff that's just normal pot stuff, they have their own nice icons, and it looks really nice. Next up, we've got pod family. Increases damage by 3.5% for a creature in the group. If another orca has this sense as well, and is grouped with you, it can stack stacks up to four times. So that can increase damage by... Uh, it's not an easy number. 3.5 times 4. Someone in the comments figure that out. I, I can't. <laughs> Next up, we have front limb. We've got drenched slide. The orca, while wet, can push itself back into the water from land. High cooldown. Body slam right, a slam attack that increases in power with each hit. The orca's side and its tail deal damage during the slam, and then this is left. So I'll equip one of those and drenched slide so we can have a look at these. Uh, let's have a look at the body slam first. So, this is the body slam. There you go, it's just a nice slam with the body. Right, I'm not actually near land, but something I really love about this is when you uh, go from under the water and you use some of your oxygen, and then you go up a bit, the orca breathes, and look, it sprays actual water. It's a particle effect, but still, it's really nice. So I'll switch them over there, let's have a look at the some of the animations. So this is the trot animation, this is sprint animation, so it's a little bit quicker. And then here is the walking animation, which is just very slow swim speed, but still, it looks quite nice, right? So, this piece of land should do, I think. It looks quite nice. Right, so, let's have a look at its land movement as well. Oh, look at it, it just <laughs> it flops around, I love it. So imagine you're beached or you got stuck on land and you don't want to be on land as long as you're wet you can do this <laughs> look at that isn't that just awesome so obviously they've taken a lot of inspiration from the uh, i think it's sea world shows but that is just that is just amazing it's such a cool ability all right next up metabolisms resident eats only fish increase bone break heal by 10 percent low hunger drain and then transient, eats only meat and bones, decrease swim stamina drain by 7%, increase carry capacity by 10%, medium hunger drain. Yes, carry capacity, this thing has a grab, but we'll get into that later. Next up, we've got hides. Ooh, excuse me. Thick blubber hide, increase defense by 15%. Slick blubber, uh, enemies who are pouncing you, their stamina drains 30% faster, as well as knockback being reduced by 30%. Enduring Blubber, increased stamina by 15%, but decreases speed by 5. Insulating Blubber, increases swim speed by 10% and turning by 10%, so that's quite nice. Next up we've got Legs. Strong Frame, take 40% less knockback and 15% increased bone break healing. And then Beach, ambush ashore and grab whatever you can fit in your jaws, it works only when fast diving. Right, so let's have a look at this grab, shall we? I will equip it instead of that. There we go. So, I'm not sprinting and I can't activate it, but let me start sprinting. There we go. Right, so I'm under the water. Imagine there's, let's say, just imagine there's a raptor on the shoreline here. Orca can basically just launch up, grab it, and basically you're supposed to tie in with this ability and... <laughs> So obviously, you know, it's it's quite it's quite cool that you can do that. So you can grab something and then launch yourself back out. Right, let's have a look at the rest of the abilities. Back limb. Breach. Breach forward when in water deals high damage but recall 15% of it back on impact. And barrel roll. Quick dart forward in a roll, damaging things in your path. Alright, let's have a look at these, shall we? That's barrel roll and that's breach. So let's do the barrel roll first, shall we? Oh, there you go, a nice quick barrel roll. Uses a decent chunk of stamina, but it should. And here's Breach. Oh, look at the speed! That is really nice. And yes, you can jump out of the water with it, but we don't need to see that. Everyone knows you can. Next up we have Tail. Tail Whack deals low damage and launches targets up in the air. And Tail Slam 
deals medium damage and knockback, and then we've got balanced, which is gain 5% turn radius. So I will equip both of these, and we can have a look at their animations. So tail slam and tail whack. Let's have a look at tail whack first. Ooh, I like that. So, basically, I think this does enough knockback to launch things out of the water. So let's say there's a tiny raptor swimming. An orca can simply just come up and whack it like that and launch it out of the water. So that's that's quite cool. It's on a very short cooldown as well. Two seconds. Right, let's have a look at the tail slam, shall we? Ooh, oh my god. That was really nice. I'm going to have a look at that again. So, what does it do? Oh my god. Orca literally just spins around and slams its tail into something. That is quite cool. I like that. That is very nice. Next up, we've got voices. Pack Hunter. Increase the attack of everyone in your group by 8% within 30 meters for one minute. Able to stack up to four times. Can only be used when in group. Let's have a listen to what this sounds like. I like to listen to the voice calls modders put. Right, here's Pack Hunter. Oh, that sounds quite nice. I like that. And next up, high frequency pulse. Let me just clear cooldowns. I think that did it. Nope, hold on. There we go. Yeah, my command knowledge isn't the best, but it's useful. So anyway, uh, what was this ability called? Dementia kicked in. High frequency pulse. Ooh, so it's like an AoE attack. That's quite nice. I like that. So, that is all of Orca's abilities. Obviously, a lot more on my uh, little UI thing down here, but still, that is quite cool. Now, let's get into... I want to have a look at this. The Orca can perform an acrobatic jump by double-tapping jump on hitting the surface while sprint swimming. I want to I wanna have a little look at this. So, I'm not sprint swimming. Now I am. I go up... I don't think I did it right. Hold on. Let's try it again. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that is wonderful. Is there loads of these? Hold on. Oh, there we go. We got a nice little dive. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if we can get another one. Is there a third animation? Oh, nice little spin again. All right, we'll do one more. This is just really fun. Let's do one more. There we go. Oh, that was a nice big roll. Okay, so obviously you can have a lot of fun with that. And I think there's a few more animations as well. I'm going to do one more. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's beautiful. I love it. So obviously those are quite fun. They, they're merely just for having fun. Right, so let's have a look at its voice ability. Uh, not voice ability, sorry. It's voice calls and such. So, first up, we have the broadcast. That's quite nice. I like that one. Then the friendly. <laughs> Does cute little squeaks. The threaten. Oh my god. It's, it's just so good. Here's the distress call. Very nice. Here's the regular call which you'd hear if you typed in chat. <laughs> nice high-pitched squeak. That sounds like a real orca. Oh wait, it probably is because they're not extinct. Alright, let's have a look at this. It's a nice little shake. <laughs> Ends in a little slam. And then I think this is look around. Yeah, looks around. It's quite nice. <clears throat> Right, let's have a look. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> let's have a look at this wave. That's nice. I like that one. Can we use that at the surface? Let's do it again. <laughs> so you can wave at people on the surface. That's adorable. What's this one? It's got its little tongue out. <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. I love that. Straight up just sticks out its little tongue. Oh, it does the tongue thing as well. I don't know if you've seen that uh, videos of orcas in real life. They do a weird 
thing with their tongue where they bend it. What is this? Let me guess. Is it a backflip? It is a backflip. Okay, so we got a backflip ability. That's quite nice. And a front flip. Yep, a little underwater one. I'll, I'll do that again underwater. Easier to see. There you go. A nice little front flip. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think some of these have different animations on land. And I'm quite interested in having a look at that. So, let's get on this tiny island here. There we go. Right, let's do... Let's do this one. What does this do on land? Oh, another thing from SeaWorld. It does a little stretch. And this one? Oh, it shows off its tail. That's quite nice. I love that. God, and then just a little wave. <laughs> I love this thing so much. Divine Beasts, you have done something absolutely incredible with this orca. Right, let's have a look at skins, because everyone loves skins. So obviously we've got Antarctic Resident, looks like an orca. Then we've got Offshore DC, that's quite nice. Ice Girlash, I think. Then we've got Legacy, nice OG orca skin. Norway, Saluk, Frosty, I think that's an orca as well. I'm pretty sure there's an orca that's uh, not albino, but Lewis Nestic. I don't know how you say that, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is based off. Then we've got albino. Melanistic, Piebald, Abomination, what a cool skin, oh my god that's crazy, Blade, edgy skin, Panthera, Hector, Geometric, oh it's like the normal Orca skin but pointy, I like that, Opal, that is an expensive skin but it's so beautiful, Untamed, another expensive skin, Roots, Fighter, Galaxy, God, 50,000 marks. Belt, traditional, goose, caper, and clown knife. So all of these look really awesome. I I love the orca so much. Now, if you didn't know, this is obviously my favorite animal, and I, I'm just so glad DB made this. It's such a nice mod to just have. Oh. It's so awesome. I can't wait to be swimming in pods with people. Maybe it will actually bring some life into the ocean, you know? That would be quite nice. I hope I haven't been talking too quick in the video, by the way. Like, I hope you all got the information that you most that you mostly need. God, I sound very British that you mostly need. <laughs> God. Right. Oh man, I, I'm just so happy this thing's in the game. Right, anyway, I am just rambling. Let's eat a fish. <laughs> I'm just doing little rambles. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this mod review. And if you did, please make sure to like, share, subscribe. Divine Beast, thank you so much for making the orca. It's absolutely incredible. And yeah, I think that's about it. Have a good day. And yeah, see ya. <laughs> I love this thing so much.